present a list of uh, concepts. And I read them, I gave them to my wife, she read them, and we almost fell out our chairs because we cannot believe the creativity that was flowing through this woman. And a lot of people are going to look at these shirts and give me a lot of credit. But all I did was just take what she had and drew it. <laughs> I, I can't take all the credit for this. I can't take the majority of the credit for this. All I did was use my gift. You know, it was, it was not me. Right? Don't look at me. I am just a vessel, seriously. Like, I, I took what she had. I used what God gave me. And this is what you see on the shirts. And this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for her. It doesn't matter who you know or what religion you serve on, as long as you can end the day or week and say to yourself, I am a grateful person. This evening, on behalf of the students and children at Steiger School of the Arts, we extend a grateful thank you to Stacy. And let's continue to uplift Stacy because, you know, this might be her last child. This is probably going to be her life work perhaps. And just like Van and myself, she could be out here without a lifeline, meaning any sort of employment. She's employing herself because people are supporting this vision and it's helping people. Yeah, no, no, we should relax today. Hold that bitch, bad mom, sexy and sophisticated sister, you were driving crazy with this off for hour after hour without hesitation. Getting made in a hard conversation. This is heaven, though I had to die. No hard to push the flavors, baby, you want that to ride. He swung the chair around so that I could see my reflection in the mirror. There it was. A masterpiece. A beautifully sculpted, short, round, teeny weeny afro. Full of tightly spun coils. And I'll never forget that date. It was March 12, 2011. An awareness of the indefinable beauty of natural hair by instilling a paradigm shift in the conscious mind. It's my belief that natural hair should be lauded and celebrated with regal pride. We should be proud of the hair that grows out of our scalp. 